Take a compliment, don't give me swinny eyes. Whoa, he's making fun of me. I'm not making fun of you. Hello, and welcome to a Loyalty Cup discussion. This week, we are going to be talking the top 10 films we are most excited for. So these movies are movies we're just amped about. Doesn't mean we're going to review them. It's a service. Maybe you didn't know about some of these movies? I didn't know about some of these movies. <laughs> you I still don't know. know about some of these movies. <laughs> <laughs> but first, I'm Richie. I'm Sean. I'm Andy. Number one on our list. Ooh, The House That Jack Built. Uh, this is a movie directed by Lars von Trier, who we all know is a creep. Starring Matt Dillon, basically, I think, about uh, just day in the life of a serial killer. I think it's like the decade in the life of a serial hey. killer. Oh, I, I think it that. takes place over the decade of, of Matt Dillon becoming the serial killer, kind of following him throughout these major kills. The trailer is so good. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually... Uh, Personally, I don't like watching trailers. I hate it. I think um, it gives away too much. What I got from it, um, you get a car maintenance tool to the face, a little duckling gets a foot cut off, see what it's like to drag a body behind your truck. One interesting thing too is this showed at a few film festivals and people are just walking out of the theater. So it looks like another love it or hate it kind of Lars von Trier movie. Plants. Number two, Halloween. Continuation of the original 1978 Halloween um, by, of course, John Sir Carpenter. John Carpenter. Uh, this one is directed by David Gordon Green, who I know from doing a bunch of Eastbound and Down episodes. Big fan. Uh, it takes place literally 40 years after the, the original events. <laughs> it's hard not to get wrapped up in all the excitement of it, you know? Everyone's talking about this movie. I, you know, I'm on the hype train, mm -hmm. and I can't wait to see where it heads. Danny McBride was one of the co-writers for this film. Strange. Very excited though. A part of the movie is it doesn't acknowledge most of the other films in the Halloween franchise. It's supposed to take place 40 years chronologically after the original. So it's kind of exciting to see if they can undo some of the damage the other films did. Damage you say? Yeah. No Busta Rhymes? Preferably not. Mm. <laughs> Under the Silver Lake, this movie I'm super amped for. It's an A24 film with Andrew Garfield. It's written and directed by David Robert Mitchell of It Follows fame. I loved It Follows. It was really beautiful. It was spooky scary to me. <laughs> and Under the Silver Lake has a killer trailer. When that Violet Femmes track comes in, it's just about adding it up. Mm. You got those like symbols that pop up with just like that color back. It's I'm excited for this. A24, come on. Are you worried because of the kind of perpetual pushback it's had? It's pushed back, which is typically not a good sign. That could mean that it's bad, needs re-editing, reshooting, who knows? Mm. So you think they took their time and it's the best it could be now? I think it has a great trailer. <laughs> and they'll never be able to take the trailer away from me. Number four, The Ballad of Buster <laughs> Scruggs. So The Ballad of Buster Scruggs is the newest Coen Brothers movie. It's supposedly an anthology of shorts that uh, revolves around Buster mm -hmm. Scruggs, who is played by Tim Blake Nelson from Oh Brother, Where Out Thou. Timmy. So uh, it's a, it's supposedly about Buster Scruggs in like a post-Civil War era <laughs> uh, Southwest American. Who's Buster America? Scruggs? I have no idea, <laughs> but it's gonna be great. Yeah, I know very little about this movie, but it's a Coen Brothers movie. Like, you gotta check it out. It's gonna be moody, it's gonna be dark, it's gonna be clever. These seem like directors that are built for anthology. I think I read that Tom Waits is in the film, and all the films I've seen him in, he just has this weird portrayal of whatever character he enacts. So I'm excited about that as well. Five on our list, Suspiria. So this 2018 remake is actually uh, based off the original 1977 Italian supernatural thriller by Dario Argento. Embarrassingly, I've never seen the original. When I f heard that this was coming out, I kind of just avoided reading about it or seeing the trailer. I really kind of want to go in this with a cold read and see what happens. I'm a fan of the original. Hearing that it's a remake makes me shudder, but then watching the trailer makes me think, okay, well, they're approaching this in an interesting way. The trailer looks great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so The Girl in the Spider Web is coming out, and that's a continuation of the Millennium Trilogy by Stieg Larsson. So the original American movie was directed by David Fincher. A lot of fans are kind of critical of this part of the story because it's all speculative writing since Stieg Larsson passed away before this was written Ooh. or created. So even though it has a lot of the same characters involved, the story that was in no way associated with the original. The other films I think are really great, and especially David Fincher's. However, David Fincher is not involved in this. I still haven't seen the David Fincher one. I saw the original Swedish Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, and I thought that one was good. Is it the wow. books came out posthumously of the, no, the, the uh, books, authors? The books came out, you know, <laughs> 
The movies were made years later, but then he passed, and this story was written post... How do you say it? Posthumously. Posthumously. Number seven, Shirkers. So Shirkers, I am super amped about, even though I don't know a lot about this movie. Um, I have a really loose understanding of how this is a almost a documentary within a documentary. This person piecing together parts of a film that was almost stolen from her basically in the past. Uh, but the trailer looks so great um, and it got a lot of hype in the festival circuit. I think on paper this thing looks like navel gazing. Mm -hmm. But just from some of the reviews I'm hearing, it, it really sounds like something interesting. So I'm stoked on it. And it's coming to Netflix. Mm -hmm. Netflix. It's going to be Watch it accessible. at your house. Mm -hmm. In my chonchons. Chonies and chanclas. I'm going to be chirking in my chonchons. <laughs> Overlord. Uh, this movie looks dumb as hell. Uh, <laughs> it's produced by J.J. Abrams and directed by Julius Avery. What we're dealing with is a group of American paratroopers who drop behind enemy lines with the goal of destroying a radio transmitter. They basically turn it, it's, it's a Nazi village, you get the Nazi zombie monsters, um, I think. I think the Nazis are creating mutant soldiers that mm -hmm. are like hyper strength, maybe werewolves. J.J. Abrams, he can put together something that has good action every yeah. once in a while. He could also surprise you every once in a while. I felt that way about Star Trek. You know, this could be something. It looks kind of like a fun B-horror movie. I don't yeah. think it's being promoted that way. I don't know if we're going to do it for this show, but I, um, I, I could be... I could be more mad about watching something. Maybe you want us to do it. If you really, if there's enough votes in the <laughs> yeah. comments, yeah. we'll consider it. <laughs> Burning. This is uh, another movie that I don't know a lot about. I haven't done a lot of digging other than, and the, uh, that's going to be a theme. Is, is, <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, we don't. Because we, we try to stay away from the, the details because uh, I like finding them out when I see the movie. The trailer looks very beautiful. It's from a Haruki Murakami book, so um, that could be really interesting. I love his writing. It's gotten a lot of good press from the festival circuit. It really does look beautiful, though. The trailer looks really, like, enigmatic. Number 10, Climax, with Gaspar No. Experimental stuff. Enter the Void, Irreversible, Carne, New French Extremism. The climax looks great, the trailer looks cool. The gist that I got is uh, you've got a dance party, you know, that you always want to be invited to. Um, lots of great looking people wearing mm. almost nothing. And these <laughs> notes tell me that it's sangria laced with LSD, and I believe it. it. Looks like a dance party that turns into a hallucinatory orgy. Hey, hard not to be a fan of. You have uh, Sofia Butea, is that how you say her last name? I think she's done some great performances in the past. She is a dancer professionally, so that should be interesting to watch. You know, I really enjoyed Enter the Void. I know that it's kind of a slog, but <laughs> I, I put myself in the right mind space and I had a good time. I'm excited about this. It looks slightly controversial, and apparently there's some things that happen in the movie that also have people walking out of the theater. Plants could be plants. So that's what we've got for you. Please look out for these reviews as they come out. We appreciate you hanging out with us. If you like what we're doing, if you love movies the way that we do, click clock that subscribe button right there. And otherwise, let us know what you're looking forward to. Always looking for ideas and stuff that we miss that we can cover for you guys. Cool. Good night.